Hi everyone, this is William from SkySiv again. In this video, we're going to be looking at adding point shape as one way of specifying a custom shape. So, the point shape is one way to address the limitations of the templates. For example, with templates, if you were to add a rectangular section, but for example you wanted to specify a fillet on say only one of the corners or two of the corners or say this corner and that corner, you currently can't do that. In fact, in for a rectangular section, you can't even specify fillets at all. Only certain shapes can specify fillets. Or for example for a T-beam, you want to be able to specify fillets at the top corners, but currently Fillets only allow you to specify fillets at the most common corners of a T-beam. So that in itself is limiting. So to address this, we've provided the functionality to specify your own shape by specifying the points that you wish. So you'll notice that you have a Z-coordinate, a Y-coordinate, and a radius available to you. This allows you to specify a radius anywhere for your shape. Now this is our default shape and you can pan across by pressing the shift button and dragging. So I'm just going to center it a little bit. Now it's good to start with a sketch yourself so that you know exactly what you want to create and the coordinates you're planning to, to plot onto the field. So I'm just going to create something on the fly by changing some of these coordinates a bit. Um, I want to make this a 50, I'm happy with that, but I'm just going to take the fillet away here, I'll take the fillet away there, um, I'll change this up a little bit to 40, uh, 50, no fillet, and the last point I'll make it um, with a fillet of 10. Now once I'm ready to update this, I hit the submit button, and it draws the custom shape that I entered into this data sheet. So what's handy as well in this data sheet, it acts very similar to Excel. So if you wish, you could actually drag this point here to make these values the same. And you can also tab through the different cells. If we want to zoom out, we can zoom in as well and pan across. And just as before, you can hit Calculate and you'll be given values corresponding to this custom shape. So you'll notice that you'll have this guiding line here which specifies where your shape is and you'll notice that the fifth point is the last point you added so if you wanted to add an extra point you'll know where this starts from again. And even though we've added a radius here this is the point that we specified in our data sheet but we specified a radius of 10 you'll notice that you'll also calculate for you the principal axes as well as the angle from the uh, horizontal z-axis as well for you. So a lot of this makes your life a lot easier and if you need to make any specific custom shapes um, that you need for your specific job, it can handle anything you throw at it. So thanks for watching this quick and easy video on point shapes we'll be diving into line shapes in the next video. Thanks and bye for now.